At 4.30, Celine Dion revealed online today that she had to postpone her upcoming tour after being diagnosed with a very rare neurological disorder. It's called stiff person syndrome, and fewer than 5,000 people here in the U.S. are believed to have it. Her video online was very emotional. She posted it on Instagram. Joining us right now to talk more about it is uh, Dr. Duarte Machado from the Chase Family Movement Disorder Center with Hartford Healthcare. Doctor, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Let's start with what this is exactly. Uh, what does it do to a person's body? Yeah, so stiff person syndrome is an autoimmune condition and whereby the, the body makes antibodies against a specific enzyme uh, that is responsible for making a neurochemical called GABA. And by blocking GABA, you're blocking an inhibitory neurochemical against muscle. Um, and so if you block inhibition, that means the muscles are overexcited and that could be any muscle in the body that becomes overexcited and goes into a spasm that's involuntary, uncontrollable, and often painful. Any idea how one ends up getting this condition? Is there, are, is there a certain way folks are diagnosed with it? Maybe age, something like that? So there's a, a wide spectrum of age. We know that women are more commonly affected than, than men. Um, and it's autoimmune, uh, meaning that there is an association with other autoimmune conditions, such as uh, diabetes. So that is a risk factor. Um, in terms of diagnosis, we look for antibodies in the blood uh, against this uh, specific enzyme. And, and it's not just a single antibody. Our knowledge of stiff person has increased such that we've identified other antibodies that also are implicated in this condition. And so even though it's, it's estimated to be one to two per million people, it's probably under uh, diagnosed. And so again, as, as our knowledge has increased, our ability to diagnose patients has also increased. And so I think we'll see a larger number of these individuals. Uh, with SPS. It's interesting you, you mentioned that because in her video she says that it took a while for them to determine exactly what she had. Uh, what kind of symptoms would people have? Uh, so uh, when patients uh, present uh, to uh, see me, for example, they'll come in with having oftentimes a long history of, of painful muscle spasms. And, and since that's a nonspecific, it, that could be seen in a variety of other conditions, uh, they may see different specialists before uh, finally coming to attention. It often does require going to a subspecialist to, to zoom in and be familiar with uh, this diagnosis. So uh, in, in, in the New England and, and perhaps even the Northeast, uh, there's, uh, I specifically have a stiff person syndrome clinic and, and have held an annual conference for patients with SPS. So patients come from the entire region um, to Hartford Healthcare, the Chase Family Movement Disorder Center to see us. We're one of half a dozen uh, at most specialty centers for stiff person uh, syndrome. Well, that's interesting. Before I let you go, doctor, uh, our understanding is there's no cure for this. W what kind of treatments, uh, you know, she talks about resuming her tour maybe in 2024, so a year from the new year. Uh, how can they treat her? How can they treat an individual? Yeah. So. As, as mentioned, even though there's not a cure, there are good treatments. Because this is an immune-based uh, treatment um, uh, condition, the therapies are immune-based. So the most okay. commonly used is something called intravenous immunoglobulin. So it's an IV treatment where we deliver um, immunoglobulins that bind up these antibodies and clear them from the system. Um, if that doesn't work, there's another uh, treatment called rituximab that's often used. And we couple that with symptomatic treatment. So again, you, this is painful muscle spasms. So we'll use things like muscle relaxants, baclofen, diazepam uh, to also treat. So it's a two-pronged approach as long, along with uh, physical therapy. Uh, Celine Dion also mentioned uh, therapy. So a comprehensive center like, like ours offers all these modalities to patients. And, and so, um, you know, and yeah. I want to applaud Celine Dion for our her courage in, in uh, talking about this condition and, and hopefully raising awareness uh, for this condition and and being seen at a specialty center is important so if, if she's listening we'd love to to see her here all right doctor thank you very much we appreciate your time this afternoon good to know though that uh, help is out there and available dr duarte machado thank you again